what's going on YouTube another thing I want to say is like subscribe comment on any of my content in my videos pass the word around be greatly appreciated but I'm gonna get straight to this video I had a problem today with my convertible top had a problem today with my convertible top um, as you can see that hole right there I'm gonna get into that a little bit with the video that I've seen with a video that I'm going to post, not a video I've seen. Video I'm going to post, I'm going to get to that video as of the issue that's going on with that. Of course, I take it back to the dealership. Um, it's still under warranty, so they're going to have to fix it. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a quick one-day turnaround fix. They may have my car for a few days, which is fine. I have another vehicle. But I also wanted to get into the things that I don't like about my 2018 Camaro SS. One of them is, if you're a little bit taller, I'm only six feet, um, the visibility, like seeing a, with a little bit taller and it's a convertible, the visibility that I'm seeing with, like, uh, when you're seeing the stoplights, it's like this, that bar right here. That shit right there, it's like, you pull up under a light, that shit is right perfectly blocking the goddamn light. Um, that's one of the things I do not like. You either gotta pull a little bit further up or don't pull as close to be able to see the light. So that's one of the things. That's fine. That's one of the things that I've noticed that I definitely do not like. Um, another thing that I don't like, honestly, is, I mean, the car sits too fucking low. I know it's sports cars, all they sit low, this and that, but I've never been a fan of cars sitting low, so I'm really contemplating getting some little bit bigger rims, maybe some 24s. I won't go as big as 26. Um, I don't like how I look on 26s, but a 24s maybe, just to get it to sit up just a little bit higher, because... It ain't the fact of me getting in and out the car, but if you got a nice bumper and you got all that little fancy stuff on the tip of your bumper, every curb is high. So you really gotta monitor where you parking and how you parking very carefully so that you don't damage your front bumper because it's very, very easy to do. I have damaged mine, so I, um, but it the little chip in the corner is no big, big, big issue, but if it was sitting a little taller, I wouldn't have a problem. I can pull forward as far as I want. That's also a common problem on the Challenger as well. That little front, little spoiler piece, is easy to brush it up against the curb because the car sits so low. That's another thing I don't like. Um, soon I will come back with more videos I don't like and I will catch y'all in a minute. Convertible top owners beware. If this thing right here starts sticking like this, what I've realized is this piece right here, this piece, this is, I guess is a common problem for these. This is what pushes that back down. As it comes up, it pushes it in, and when it comes down, it's supposed to just pop back in place. As you can see, this shit is loose. No spring action. It was sounding like it was tearing something up or breaking something at first. When I got out and realized what it was, this arm piece right here, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little arm. But well, this piece is broken off of that. It connects to that piece. And as it comes up, it pushes that in. It's all bent up and everything. So this is a common problem. Um, I've seen somebody else have the same issue on YouTube. I'm not sure what they're gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to take it to the dealer because yes, my car is still under warranty. I definitely want to get that fixed because I don't like it at all. But this is a common convertible top problem. Hopefully they have a better fix for it. So if you experience a problem with one of these going bad, chances is that's what it is. It will not won't even stay up because that piece broke. And I'm gonna show you an example on the other side. This is how it looks on the other side. The rod stays like this, connects to this piece, 
which they got some metal connected to plastic. So it's easy to, to do. And as you can see, that whole piece connects all to that. And what it does is pushes that in as it comes up. Pushes it all the way in. It should have spring tension action on it at all times. And, and that's what makes it just pop back in place. So this is a common convertible problem I'm letting you guys know about. And just in case, yeah, y'all can see them two tens sitting in there real nice, beating real hard.